This is going to be your guide to getting legendary pals in Pal World. If you enjoyed the video or if it helps out in any way, don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends, and comment your thoughts down below. So I want to start this video off by talking about the classification of pals, because we have four legendary at the bottom, but we also have the pals that the bosses of the towers use, and there's even some subspecies of them, so a lot of interesting stuff to break down. And then we also have like more rare pals that feel sub-legendary, so we're going to be breaking those down in some other videos. For this one, we're going to be focusing on these big four right here. Now, when you look at the passive skills of the legends, it actually says legend. So we have plus 20% attack, plus 20% defense, plus 15% movement speed. And then you also have like an increase to damage or some kind of really high skill as well. And that's also what makes it weird because we look at Anubis. It has an Emperor one, but it's not legendary. Lord of the Sea. So yeah, it's a little complicated. Made more complicated because... I bred Quivern with Jet Dragon, so yeah, legendaries can breed, and they can also breed down their passive skills. Somehow, I ended up with a beacon, but it has Divine Dragon and the Legend passive. Breeding is going to be insane, and I do not have the resources or the research to fully understand that just yet, so going to get crazy. But let's talk about finding and catching these legendaries. So if you go into the pal deck, you can check the environment of all of the pals, except when they have like a special overworld encounter, but then they can be easy to find. Because all you have to do is highlight the area on the map and then it's going to show up. You just have to like look for the mineshaft entrance or it's just there in the overworld. So Jet Dragon is going to be around the Obsidian Mountain on the west northwest side. Now, depending on your settings, a legendary pal fight is no joke. You're going to need to be high level. Your pals are going to need to be high level. Preferably, you're going to want like super effective coverage, but also you can change the settings. I take less damage from pals. I do have a 1x damage multiplier, so you can see like the fully automatic assault rifle just barely chipping this thing. Like you need head headshots, you need to be going for the damage, you need to be dodging, you need to make sure all of your gameplay is clean also don't like tumble into lava and stuff yeah these fights are, are pretty tough and you can't like think oh man i'm just gonna go and cheese it you know cancel some auto attacks with a lower sphere or try to catch it early with an ultra or a legendary sphere now the catch rates are super low i can't tell which ones is which so yeah like one percent at, at that health uh not great now we can also get into general pal catching stuff, so hitting them with the baton isn't going to do damage, but if they get stunned, they will be easier to catch for a very short amount of time, uh, depending on if you're tanky enough or if your settings are low enough, it's worth doing, and then Legendary Sphere, 9%, up to 26% though, so that's actually pretty good, still not going to be a guaranteed catch. And it's gone, and then everything else has no catch rate. I only brought two Legendary Spheres for the example here. So yeah, you can defeat it, they respawn. You can catch it, they respawn. That was the catch rate I had with level 8 on the Life Monk statue. So if you go around, catch those, you really want to do some Legendary Farming. That's something you can do. Also, you can sell the resources that you get to try to recoup some losses and get some ammo back. 21 Precious Dragon Stones, 21,000 gold. We get 140 bullets back. And it's going to be the same thing for the other legendaries. You can find Frostallion in the northwest part of the map, in the big snowy area, and then the north part of the desert will have both Palladius and the other legendary, Necromus. Now, Jet Dragon is just the best pal because of how fast it flies when you get the saddle. It also kind of creates a weird thing where you've kind of beaten the game, but if you haven't fully explored the map and caught all the pals, you haven't really beat the game, and it's going to be necessary for when, like, the big tree finally unlocks and there's more content in the future. Game is just in early access. There's going to be more pals, more story, all of that fun stuff. So, like, this is where you want to be. It's not like you can go, oh, I caught Jet Dragon, now I'm done. No, you still have to, like, explore the map, find all the boss pals, complete the pal deck, and then you can still use it to get resources and farm and continue the grind and make better bases and get everything perfected so yeah it's, it's actually like really awesome and really good for getting life monk statues as well that also means you need to have some life monk upgrades already so it's easier to catch jet dragon and then breeding whenever i start figuring that out also gets insane and as you can see the legendary pals are very deep in the end game you need level 48 to 50 just to make the saddles and it's 200 refined ingots 50 circuit boards and 140 like okay, 140 palladium isn't insane but like all of that for the jet dragon missile launcher and you need the missile launcher just to be able to ride it in the first place 
That also doesn't include the resources for making tons of legendary PAL spheres for all of that. Also, like, upgrading through it to get to the other PALs that will help you in the combat for catching these things. For a stallion, yeah, it's, it's crazy. And then to finish off the video, I'll talk about the partner skills and drops. So, Palladius has a triple jump while mounted. I haven't spent the insane amount of resources to find out, but it's probably like a really fast ground mount as well. So just kind of upgrade as you go. Make sure your base is in a really good shape to be getting all the resources. Drops pal metal though. Catrus increases the drops from neutral pal, so I actually get 40 pal metal ingots. Uh, Necromus is going to be large pal soul, so making your pal stronger. Pal metal ingots, Frostallion, just ice organs and diamonds. But again, you can like sell these, and if you get bonus drops because of the pal you're fighting with, then that's going to help like recoup some of the cost of stuff. And then diamond, carbon fiber, polymer, quartz. You're going to need that to be able to make the stuff to make the saddle for Jet Dragon. And like I said, you can catch and breed them, and that's a, a whole nother crazy thing. Level 4 cooling mostly just like overworld utility pals not base pals on just level 2 lumbering and stuff oh and those settings were with a 2x pal capture rate so that's gonna be like casual mode kind of stuff i have the damage from pals multiplier at 70 percent just as i like learn the game and make videos for this and that was with a 1x damage to pals if you go 5x you can actually go like rifle ammunition positive because you can just dump entire clips and then use it for really good farming and then you get tons more gold in return for defeating the legendary pals and yeah all kinds of ways you can set up your settings even if the world is already established like you can just change the settings so if you're having a hard time catching the pals you can change the settings on the fly and if you do something like 5x damage against pals you can go significantly positive or like okay yeah now i can actually get the resources from necromus and Pilatus and melt them do crazy amounts of damage farm them for resources and have a really good profit oh yeah i forgot i have 3x resource drops enabled but again like you get to a point and they do some farming and then hopefully everything's good and for the sake of completeness i made a palladius saddle so let's see how cracked this is goes goes kind of fast there might even just be like a pal that's as fast moving around for the higher ranks i haven't made all the saddles it's so much resources i wasted them so you don't have to triple jump i mean might as well have a flying pal so that's not too crazy unless you're using it to just like dab on enemy pals even the spear thrust isn't that fast so there we go, guys. I hope this video helped out. Really, the only thing is going to be like the difference between casual, custom, and normal gameplay and getting to this point. But you can, and then you get really strong, and then the legendary battles are difficult, but you can find them and catch them, and some of them are really good. Mostly just Jet Dragon. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.